In today's Men 18 tip video, we're going to be taking a look at how I go about creating a game plan in Men 18. And this is really the first step to developing uh, one side of the ball. And we're going to take this one bite at a time. So uh, for those of you that are new to my YouTube channel uh, or just kind of coming back from a little bit of a break we just had, my name is Cody, and I'm so thankful for you guys taking the time to watch today's video. And I want to just jump right into uh, the content. So today what we're talking about is how do you really create a game plan? And I, always, uh, I think one of the biggest mistakes that most people make in Madden is that they don't have a clear plan to accomplish accomplish whatever it is that they're going to try to accomplish. And so for us on the offensive side of the ball, we're going to try to build uh, an offensive system that is going to be able to not just help you in Madden 18, but in Madden 19 and Madden 20 and, and for so on, uh, however long we get to play this game. So what you want to do is you want to go over to customize and you want to take a look at the playbooks, customize playbooks. This is where I always start. And what I'll do is I will go through every single playbook in the game okay now for for sake of time we are going to jump to the specific playbook that i uh really want to hone in on for you guys today and that is the pittsburgh steelers offensive playbook okay the reasoning behind this is it has a very very deep gun bunch what gun bunch normal so we talked about uh, and in previous videos, and this is for those of you who have not seen any of my content before, one of the things that I try to do is I try to have everything come out of the same formation. I try to stay in one formation, really the majority of the game, and I try to make everything look identical because if everything looks identical pre-snap, it's much, much more difficult for the defense to be able to hone in on what you're probably going to do. It's better for disguise. Uh, at least in my experience, it is. So uh, go into Pittsburgh Steelers, and this is what I'll do if this if we were just starting over. Uh, I'm going to go through every single formation, and I'm going to try to put together a quote-unquote mini scheme out of every single formation in, in the offense until I kind of find what I really want to look. So I'm just going to scroll through, and we'll just start going. So uh, I formation tight. This is obviously a running formation. So what I want to look for is, you know, can I run uh, toss, the other, the other good run this year is this 26 duo. This is really effective. And then you have the fullback dive, uh, just in case that's wide open, and then the fullback fake toss. So these are really good runs here. And then I'll go to the next, and I'll just do this, and I'll go all the way through, and I will try to find, you know, what are the best, uh, what are the best formations, okay? And I'll do this for every single playbook in the game. Uh, so for you guys, if you're wanting to build your own system, your own scheme, I highly recommend this because what this does is it does two things. Number one, it gives you really, really good playbook knowledge, and you can kind of see how, um, you know, what are the what are the critical plays from, and you can go through and look at all these different routes that are open, and you can just kind of uh, you just get to scroll through and see it. OK, and then what's going to happen is eventually you're going to know, OK, now I'm going to after looking at all of these um, formations, now I need to basically identify what are what are the two to three formations that if I focused on those two or three, that everything else that it, it accomplishes everything that I want it to accomplish. And really what that is, is um, what, what I use, what a, a friend of mine actually taught me. And these are five specific types of plays for success that are going to set you up to beat everything. Um, and that is uh, a three-headed rushing attack in which you can run the ball out of one formation. You can run it right up the middle. You can run it, so like for the bunch, it would be halfback mid draw. You can run it to the right for the bunch, it would be halfback base, and you can run it to the left, which is the counter Y. You also need to have a, uh, a passing play that is really, really good against zone defense, okay? In this year's zone, the number one zone defense, in my opinion, that is the most difficult to beat is cover two, and the bunch trail does a really good job at beating that zone. The next thing you need to do is you need to figure out what is what is a play that I can have in my arsenal that is really, really effective to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. And for me, uh, this year, this is corner strike. This is by far uh, one of the better man-beating plays that we, we have in the game this year. Um, and then you need to figure out, well, what's going to help me beat the blitz? Well, PA Post will do that because it has quick drags, quick uh, quick flat routes, and things like that that can uh, get open against the defense. And then the last thing you've got to ask yourself is, what is a, I need a power play. I need one play that really can just 
really can start out with and get me good, and that's for me this deep corner out of Pittsburgh. It also has, as you can tell, it has deep corner, steeler cross, verticals, halfback screens, tight end hook, which is a really good red zone play, has everything that you're really looking for out of one formation. And so what you want to do is you want to strategically plan this out. So in your go through entire custom say, custom playbook and you want us literally looking through every formation and I'll just, you know, keep going here and you're just going to want to try to figure out what are some critical plays? What are plays that if I can really what are what are the plays that I want to practice? Is really what I look at uh, as I go through. What are the things that really look like they can really be uh, very powerful? For example, out of the gun bunch, you have the QB draw, which is really good for mobile quarterbacks. You have divide wheel, which is really good play. Um, you also have Y curl. Um, there's just so many plays. Uh, we can't get to all of them, obviously, but you want to go through your entire playbook and you want to try to si dial it in. And then what's going to happen is um, from there, you now have a skeleton plan. And really what you're going to try to do is go into practice mode and continue to cut things out until you've really layered it down to these are the two to three plays that they not only are really good plays individually, but this is really critical, guys. In order for your plan to be successful, the first thing is to get sol a solid foundation, right? A solid foundation of plays, which is through doing this. But the second step and the step we're going to talk about tomorrow is how do you actually cut it down and how do you sequence it in order to um, – how do you select it? What and, and that's what we're talking about, like an 80-20 analysis. And really what we're trying to ask is, what are the 20% of plays that are going to contribute to 80% of my results? Okay, so what are the 20% of plays that if I master these 20% of plays, that's going to really contribute to 80% of my results? Okay, and that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Uh, and that's really where we try to figure out what are um, – the, the really the, the force multiplier plays, what, what some people would call the money plays. What are the strongest, what are the plays that we're going to call most frequently, okay? And we're going to hone in on those specific plays, and we'll show you how to do that in tomorrow's video. But thank you guys for watching today's video. And if it's your first time checking out my YouTube channel, I just want to let you know that I actually have a free offensive guide that you can get for free, 100% free. All you have to do is leave your email address in the comments. Thank you guys.